varsity football team, and um, we were a brothers committed working together to achieve a common goal. And then this one was from California, University of Pennsylvania. This was a Division II Final Four semifinals ring, 2009. Yeah. And uh, we were one game away from the national championship. It, it looks like a Super Bowl. Uh -huh. ring. It's that big. Uh, and you, there, you have a third ring, I think you told me. From 2008, went uh -huh. to the Final Four as well. Uh, same size? Same, same size, same, same weight. school. Yep. Same, same bookends. Weight. Yeah, bookends. Bookends. <laughs> Ready to roll. <laughs> you wanted to uh, develop uh, your profession in, in I, professional sports, right? And in I football. I still do, and I'm not giving oh, up really? on that dream. Last year, I was at a tryout down in Texas for a UFL team. Uh -huh. And I tore my right calf muscle, uh -huh. and it sidelined me for about three and a half months. And by that time, the season was started again. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be amping up my workout regimen, <clears throat> getting ready for another go mm -hmm. this winter, and we'll see you're, what happens. You're not getting any younger, Derek. Uh -huh. I'm not and getting those, that much older. Those though. legs. Yeah, my legs are in good shape. I'm, yeah, I'm fortunate. You're a kicker, kicker, yeah. punter, uh, and punter. Uh huh. So, uh -huh. but the worst thing to do is you look back on on your life and and have regrets and not go for it. Yeah. And I would encourage anybody out there that has a dream has a goal, has a vision, to yeah. go for it. And don't let anything stop you. Derek, you should be a motivational speaker uh, as well, if you could find the time to do it, to get in front of uh, audiences of young people with that message, to believe in themselves, to set goals, because so many of them are just aimless. They have no idea where they're going. Uh, and they're, therefore, they won't have any idea when they get there. Uh, but I think that's another contribution you could make by sharing your, your passion for life and for service. It's, a, it's an honor when people give you that opportunity. I've been fortunate. Um, my alma maters have had me back to speak. Yeah. And um, it is truly an honor to be yeah. able to, to address the, the wow. youth and those that might be struggling just to kind of get focused, mm -hmm. you know. And a lot, a lot of times, and I keep coming back to the caring because that's so mm -hmm. important. A lot of times you ask somebody, how are you doing today? And you might get a response, well, um, whatever. And, yeah. and no one listens. That's right. But to ask somebody how you're doing and to mean it, yes. there's a difference. Yep. And to shake well, someone's hand with sincerity. I hope we can get back to it. Well, I sincerely appreciate your being here. Thank you. And uh, uh, your parents done good. So, uh, I appreciate it. And I wish you the best of luck uh, during this, particularly during this season. Uh, until next time, uh, this is 30 Minutes. I am Rick Anthony. Take good care of yourselves. And since this probably is around the Christmas season, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays.